It's no secret that millions and millions of Americans across this country are deeply dissatisfied with their current situation. They've looked to Washington for leadership, and all they have gotten is condescension. For years, they've suffered quietly, quietly amid shuttered factories and shattered lives. But now, now they have let out a great roar. Now we, their elected representatives, must listen. So I want to say to the American people, we hear you. We will do right by you, and we will deliver. <laughs> the people have given us unified government. And it wasn't because they were feeling generous. It was because they want results. How could we live with ourselves if we let them down? How could we let ourselves down? I have for many months been asking our members to raise their gaze and aim high. Now, today, this Congress, let us not be timid, but rather reach for that brighter horizon and deliver. And so, this old chamber, this old chamber might look the same, but in the hush whispers, in the whirl of activity, you can feel the winds of change. If the gentleman from Wisconsin would please raise his right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. I do. Thank you. I now pronounce you the Speaker of the House. Thank you.